Hey everybody, welcome to this achievement guide for Cuphead's DLC, The Delicious Last Course. In this video, we are going to be completing the achievement, The Golden Touch, and the requirements to unlock this achievement is to defeat a boss with one of Miss Chalice's super arts. So let's get started with this video. All right, so to start off, of course, we are playing as Mrs. Chalice. So we have the cookie charm. We are going to have the roundabout and chaser as our two weapons. And then our super art is going to be super art one as it is suited for the enemy that we are going to be using it on. And then finally, we are going to be starting up the level bootlegger boogie. It is the closest one to the beginning of this DLC area. So it's very easy to spot. And we are also playing on regular difficulty. You can do this on simple, but I wanted to showcase regular to show that it can be done on regular. You know. It's not extremely hard. You just got to be prepared. So now let's get started with the actual moves and gameplay of each phase. In this phase, we are facing the spider. I'd personally recommend you use the roundabout shot. You can switch to the chaser every now and then, but the roundabout shot is extremely useful for staying in this middle area here because you can stay in this area and sort of do what I'm doing right here, going back and forth, making sure you clear out any enemies that are coming by you. That centipede that he throws is really annoying. And if you get the roundabout to come back around and hit that centipede, it's a one shot kill. So you can definitely take advantage of the roundabout's abilities and just do what I'm doing right here, going back and forth and then waiting for the spider to get onto your row. And you can see it didn't take extremely long to take out the spider. The roundabout does work. All right, now moving on to the secondary phase, we are going to equip the chaser and then we are just not going to let go. We are not going to ease up. We're just going to continuously fire and it is going to continuously target the boss. And then you can see that the record player is shooting out these beams of music. You are going to want to make sure that you watch for the yellow and then the red streams. If you get hit by the red streams, you do take damage, but you can easily avoid this by using Mrs. Chalice's roll. It is actually a really useful ability. You can roll through any attacks and you won't get damaged because you're sort of invincible when you get hit by those rolls. So definitely take advantage of Mrs. Chalice's abilities throughout this entire fight. All right, now moving on to the third phase, we are keeping the chaser equipped because it is just going to be the most useful in this scenario. So continue to shoot as you are trying to dodge all of these attacks and you should get this done in a bit of time. It takes a little bit of time, but nothing too crazy. The attacks that always got me were this spitball here. Like the tongue isn't anything too crazy. You can see it stays on one side of the screen at a time and it's pretty easy to predict and dodge. You just gotta, you know, always be away from wherever the tongue pops up. You can see I'm dodging it pretty easily. But what <laughs> always got me was the ball. Sometimes I would just like slightly hit it and it was just like, oh my God, I could have easily avoided that. So watch out for the ball. It, that's my recommendation. And just keep an eye on the tongue on the left side. Just make sure you're never on the same row and you shouldn't have too much trouble here. You wanna make sure you have a good amount of health when you're going into this final phase because you are most likely going to take damage as you're setting yourself up to get the achievement later on. So just be aware, you want to make sure you have at least two health just to be in a good position. You also want to make sure you have a super art ready, you know, all five cards, but you should have that by now, as long as you're making sure you're continuously firing and you didn't use too many of your specials against the second phase. All right, so we are coming up on the end of this phase. Get ready. You are going to want to make sure you do not get deceived by this upcoming knockout screen. It is a fake one and you need to be prepared to take out the snail that is in the anteater's hat. So line yourself up below the snail and use your super art to take them out. And that is the golden touch achievement completed. Definitely nothing too crazy, but it took a while for me to get to the end of this boss fight. The grade doesn't matter here. All you need to do is make sure that you finish off that snail with a super art. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. Stick around and subscribe if you did enjoy the content. Drop a like if I was able to help you. And I will see you in the next achievement guide for Cuphead. Take care and have a great day. It's a delicious last course.